with Uber Shoggy in California. This is a, a cool story, uh, not a cool story, a sad story, very sad story uh, about destructive uh, California politics. It's not new, it's not a surprise. Uh, but, uh, it, you know, we'll see if Uber has the guts to follow through with its threats. California passed a law a few months ago called AB5. Um, AB5 basically, I, I, I don't know all the nuances and all the nitty-gritty of it, but basically bans the use of independent contractors on a regular basis. If you're using somebody on a regular basis, whether it's a writer, whether it's a, a driver, whether it's a delivery guy, you need, according to AB5, you need to count them as employees, which means you need to give them benefits, you need to give them um, uh, health care, uh, you know, you have to offer them the, the whole slew, and of course they get, they get then a salary, they get, they get withholding, they get the whole, everything that's got to do with being an employee. So you and the, the person who's going to work for you don't get to decide whether they're an independent contractor or not, whether they're an employee or not. The government gets to decide for you. Now, the government already has criteria for who can be a, a, an employee and who can be a, um, a contractor. There's a whole list of this, so they're very strict in terms of limiting your ability to use contractors for a limited period of time, for particular types of work, uh, and, and all kinds of limitations. We used to go through this at the Institute. When could we make somebody a contractor? When did we have to make them an employee? What AB5 does is it expands the definition of employee far greater and shrinks the ability to use contractors to, 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 uh, in a dr in dramatic fashion, dramatically shrinks the definition of what a contractor is and who can be a contractor. All specifically aimed, specifically aimed at turning the, the, the drivers for Uber, Lyft, uh, and all the food delivery services uh, into employees instead of contractors. So this law passed uh, a few months ago. Last year, I think. Uh, since then, uh, the, uh, the, all these tech companies, all these uh, delivery companies have been doing basically two things. One, they've been suing to, to claiming the law is whatever, unconstitutional, wrong, whatever, and, and delaying. And, and by the way, none of them have turned the, the, the people they work, uh, who work for them into employees. They're all still treating them as uh, independent contractors. Uh, so they've sued to try to delay They've also put together a proposition that Californians will vote on in November. So the idea is we're not going to play by the rules. We're going to pay fines. We're going to sue. We're going to hold this off in court for as long as we can. And then we've got this proposition in November to overturn uh, AB5. So we'll delay until November. Um, so that has been happening and then what happened recently is that the Attorney General of California sued the, the company saying, wait a minute, you're just delaying. The law is the law. You have to abide by the law. You have to start treating them as employees. And Uber and Lyft said, no way. And they, they, so they, he, he filed an injunction against them. They filed uh, a, a, a motion at the Supreme Court to overturn the injunction against them. The Supreme Court basically ruled, I think yesterday, no. You have to, there's a law, and you have to follow the law, and the law says you have to treat them as employees. And Uber and Lyft both said, and by the way, the, the Attorney General of California was very clever. He didn't file the injunction, he didn't file the injunction on Uber and Lyft to force them to use, uh, to convert everybody to employees immediately, unlike Uber Eats, because everybody needs Uber Eats right now, right? I mean, Uber Eats is like off, off the charts right now because um, of COVID, because restaurants are closed. So everybody is using Uber Eats right now. So he didn't file on that because he knew it would be unpopular. He only filed on the, on the you know, regular Uber and regular Lyft. So Uber and Lyft both announced yesterday that they're going to appeal some more. They've got more appeals. But basically, the Supreme Court of California gave them until the 20th of the month. 
And Uber and Lyft said, look, if we don't get this overturned by the 20th, then we're out of California. We're basically shutting down in California. Now, they too are not shutting down Uber Eats. They can still treat their drivers as contractors until the Attorney General in California goes after them there, uh, until November. But they will shut down Uber and Lyft in California. Now, I, for one, hope they do that. Finally, somebody needs to stand up to the bastards in Sacramento. Somebody needs to stand up to these statists and tell them, uh, we're not going to work on those terms. We're just not going to work on those terms. Uber did this a long time ago in Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas um, had all these requirements that Uber had to fulfill, background checks and all kinds of stuff. I think Uber does background checks anyway, but this was onerous in terms of what the city council in Austin required Uber to do. So Uber said, okay, and they just left the city. And for a long time, you'd arrive in Austin, you'd expect to be able to use Uber, and you couldn't use Uber. And it was like, I think the, 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 the brains of all those um, Gen Xs were blowing up. I think there were exploding brains all over Austin, Texas, because nobody could quite get their hands around the fact that a company would leave and leave them stranded. Don't you have a, you know, God-given right to an Uber whenever you want it within three minutes on demand, whether they make money or not? Finally, I think after a couple of years where all kinds of other uh, uh, companies filled in the gap for Uber, but none of them really worked very well, Uber renegotiated with Austin and came back into Austin. So I'd love to see them leave California. Love to see them leave California. I think it would be, I think it would be great. It would be good for consumers to learn. It would actually increase the probability that they win in November on Proposition 22. Proposition 22. Uh, w which would reverse the law, so it would it would give it would increase their probability. Let let consumers actually suffer the consequences of stupid government policy. I can't imagine uh, you know anything better than that. So um, it's cool, and uh, let's hope it actually happens. Uh, let's hope. Uh, that Uber actually shrugs in the face of immoral, illegitimate laws that restrict their behavior. That would be very cool. Um, it's interesting that all of this, I mean, Uber and Lyft are considered these villains, and nobody, nobody accuses them of overcharging. Uber and Lyft are fairly, uh, you know, cheap. Um, service is fantastic as compared to taxis and, and, and anything else. Um, convenient. A whole generation, I think, is not bought cars. And, and so you'd argue that environmentally it's, it's good, right? Fewer cars. Better usage of assets. The car otherwise just sits there. Now you can make a living driving it, and, and, and that's a benefit. All these benefits. And Uber still loses huge amounts of money. Huge. I think... Last quarter, they lost one point something billion dollars, right? So not like they're making a fortune and they can afford to pay their drivers a lot more. No, they're losing money. They actually don't have the money to pay drivers as employees. It would raise the cost of labor dramatically. Yeah, who cares? Who cares? The unions are demanding it in the name of labor rights. And the politicians, you know, the leftist politicians in California, what do they care about whether a company's making money or losing money? What are they, they've made their money. You know where they made their money? They made their money on the capital gains, taxes on capital gains, when Uber went public and all those Uber employees cashed in and made money. The state of California has a very high capital gains uh, tax, and they make their money when Silicon Valley companies go public. It's time for Silicon Valley to move out of California. It's time not only for Uber and Lyft to shut down operations in California. They should, they should close their offices in California. They should move their headquarters to Austin, Texas, or to Nashville, Tennessee, or to, I don't know, Reno, Nevada, or somewhere. Reno, Nevada is not a good place. No, they, they should go to a university town. They need tech guys. You know, Austin, Texas is perfect. And, uh, and leave the state of California. 
Yeah, era he shouldn't leave California. California's where the battle is. California's where the fight is. Why, you know, the last people you want to leave California is ARI. ARI is fighting. So you want them to be where the action is. But, you know, even ARI might move one day. One day. I'm not going to say more than that. Um, but, yeah, let's see Silicon Valley move. There are other good university places other than the Bay Area. Not, nobody, nowhere may be quite as good as the Bay Area. But let's hope that Uber actually does indeed shrug. All right, let's see. I think I saw some questions here. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. I'm, I'm looking for questions. Okay, Michael asks. Uh, Michael contributes 34 Canadian dollars, 34.99 Canadian dollars, which is about 25 U.S. dollars. Just shows you how, how, you know. Uh, low the Canadian dollar has gone since the financial crisis when they were almost at parity, where the, the dollar, Canadian dollars are almost worth an American dollar. Uh, 25 years dollar. He says, I hope Uber shrugs because if not, it just continues to embolden government to interfere more and more into business. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's got to be a consequence. And again, I think they need it. And, and, and there's got to be, I mean, they will feel good about it. And there's got to be consequences to the consumers. And there's got to be consequences to the drivers. A lot of the drivers want this. A lot of the drivers are lobbying for this. They want to be employees. Well, screw you. If you're going to lobby for this, you won't be employees and you won't be contractors. You will be out of a job. And that's, that's reality. Teaching people a lesson. That's reality conveying a message. And, and Uber and Lyft can help reality, can, can make that happen. Right? can make that happen. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. It, all it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and uh, and show your support for all for, for for the work for the value hopefully you're receiving from this and uh, and of course don't forget if you're not a subscriber even if you even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up you'll know what shows are on when they're on you'll get notified right so um, yes like. Share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. 